All right, guys, I'm gonna be doing some Valentine's Day looks for you, and this one is gonna be our first one, and it's just a very natural, neutral look. Um, the only thing that's gonna make it overtly Valentine's is that I'm using some pink. Um, but this is something I feel like if you are not used to wearing makeup, or you're just kinda like dipping your toe in, this is very easy skill level wise, and just um, soft colors, so you don't have, there's not much to be intimidated. I did focus on my lashes, I did two coats, but that's just because I have no lashes. I do think it's all about the lashes, um, for this look, it's just something you can bat your eyes at your honey with, you know, with your long luscious lashes, but just a very soft, simple look. So I hope you enjoy. Let's just get started. So first I am going to apply a cream shadow. This is in the color called Victorious. It's a matte cream shadow and it reminds me a lot of Max Painterly Paint Pot. Like, pretty darn spot on. And something I did on this eye that I'm not going to do on this eye is I am going to apply my crease shade first. Sorry. I applied my like pastel pink first and then I had to touch it up too much. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to apply a loose pigment in the color Beautiful. Um, I already just have some in the lid and I'm going to use a big fluffy brush and I'm going to just tap off any excess and go right in the crease. And just go ahead and windshield wiper and swirl around that color called Beautiful. Just to define the crease, just to make it like, oh hey, I have eyeballs. And here they are. This is where they go. Give me a little bit more, sorry. And then I'm going to kind of concentrate a little bit more out in the outer V just to deepen that part up a little bit, but not necessarily make it dark because this whole look is meant to be very light. And then I'm going to take a like short shader brush in that same beautiful color and I'm going to go under my lash line and connect it to this area right there. And this took a little bit for me to build up to my desired darkness <laughs> so just go ahead and work work at it until it's as dark as you would like it to be this is a very very light neutral shade it's a great transition color um, but since we're doing such a light look today I wanted to use it so just to define that lower lash line I mean not really anything crazy so I think that's good. I'm gonna clean up a little bit with my brush because I just feel like I got a little bit excited there. And then I'm gonna take another splurge cream shadow. This is a shimmery shadow and it is in the color Hopeful. And as you can see, it's just this beautiful iridescent-y pastel pink. So I'm gonna just take my finger, take a little bit of it on my finger, and go ahead and apply that right on my lid. Look at how gorgeous color is. Oh, I love it. And our, um, the unique splurge cream shadows go on like a cream, but dry to a powder. So you don't have to worry about creasing. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's super, super easy to use. So there you go. Splurge cream, cream chateau. I'm going to let it just set just a minute and while I do that I'm going to curl my lashes because it's all about the lashes. <laughs> I'm sorry if this creeps you out. One thing I'm going to do is just make sure that this line right here is blended. I wanted to wait for it to dry a little bit before I did that. Just make sure everything's blended. And then I am going to go ahead and apply my 3D Fiber Mascara. This is the Transplanting Gel. I'm going to apply a really good coat of that. Alright. Then the fibers. I'm 
And I'm actually gonna do two coats today. So I'm gonna do another coat of gel. And then another coat of fibers. And then you always want to finish it off with a coat of gel. And then this time I'm gonna apply some on my lower lash line as well. All right, and now that our eyes are done, I actually already have it on my lips, but I'll reapply it just so you can see. I'm gonna use our Lip Bonbon in Red Velvet Cake. Yep, Red Velvet Cake. And it is just a tinted lip moisturizer. It's wonderful. It's just enough color to make you feel like you have something on, like brighten your lips. But there's moisture, it's hydrating, it's just wonderful and it's very, very, very natural. So this is it, guys. This is my super natural Valentine's Day look. Um, I think the only thing that really makes it Valentine's Day is that the eyeshadow is pink. Um, but I feel like this is a perfect, just natural look that you can use any day, really. But if you're not used to wearing makeup and you're wanting to just do something on Valentine's Day to feel a little bit more put together, then this is what I would do for you. Um, very basic, very easy, and just very soft and subtle and just pretty. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you later. Bye.